Liberty has never come from government, Woodrow Wilson, one of FDR's predecessors and another Democrat, said. The history of liberty is the history of limitation of government's power, not the increase of it. I do not believe in a fate that will fall on us no matter what we do. I do believe in a fate that will fall on us if we do nothing. Some seem to forget that I've worked with those on movies and television. I warn you. Television may be exciting, but always take what you watch or read with a grain of salt. The more extreme these people act, the more money they make. They don't care about us. You should always do your own research using verified primary sources. Editorials or articles published can be exciting, but they are seldom the truth. This country will eventually be destroyed for the sake of a paycheck. We do more for the underdeveloped nations than anyone in the world but they act as if we're out to destroy them and they never say boo to the Soviets. As I have often said, governments don't produce economic growth, people do. What government can do is encourage Americans to tap their well of ingenuity and unleash their entrepreneurial spirit, then get out of the way. The following morning, when I met for breakfast with the staff, we kept noisy music playing loudly on a tape recorder as a precaution against hidden microphones. It was a good thing we did, later, we found five listening devices hidden in our rooms in the guest house. One staffer unscrewed a plate over the light switch in his room, discovered a bug, removed it, and took it home as a souvenir. As smart as he was, though, I suspect even FDR didn't realize that once you created a bureaucracy, it took on a life of its own. It was almost impossible to close down a bureaucracy once it had been created. I have often wondered about a paradox in American government. Every four years, voters elect a president and in California governor, the only officeholders elected by all the people, then, the same people in their individual districts turn around and elect a legislature and Congress that is often controlled by the opposing party enabling it to prevent the president or governor from carrying out the things they elected him or her to do. The first rule of a bureaucracy is to protect the bureaucracy. If the people running the welfare program had let their clientele find other ways of making a living, that would have reduced their importance and their budget. Throughout my life, I guess there's been one thing that's troubled me more than any other, the abuse of people and the theft of their democratic rights, whether by a totalitarian government an employer, or anyone else. I probably got it from my father, Jack never bristled more than when he thought working people were being exploited.